and welcome to Mr. Barton's Gapminder World video number three. Now this week we're going to take a look at the relationship between the age that women get married and the fertility rates, the number of children that they have. And I've got a graph already prepared on the next page and it shows data for loads of countries across the world in 1940. So a nice way to start this before showing your students the graph itself is to get them to predict what they think it might look like. Will there be a correlation between the age and the fertility rate? And if so, how strong will it be? And will it be positive or negative? And once they've had a bit of time to think, let's take a look. So there you go. Not much data for uh, countries in 1941, but plenty of data as we go through the years. So I'm going to focus in on three countries for this. I'm going to get everyone's favourite, China, because all sorts starts happening there fairly soon. I'm also going to get Algeria, which is just there. Now there's no data just yet for Algeria, but that kicks in fairly soon. And I'll also get the United Kingdom. So let's have a look at the world in 1941. So in the United Kingdom, the average first age of a woman getting married was 25, and um, women were having about 1.72 children. And in China, average age of first marriage was 18, and women were having 5.35 children. Okay, now again, I can hit play and I can see how things change, but I want a bit more control, so I'm going to just use this drag function. Now, the first thing I want to focus on is what happens in the United Kingdom after the war, after the Second World War. So the war's still going on here, 1941. Let's just drag forward a few years and look at that. Now, the fertility rate in 1947 jumps up to 2.7. Now, that's the baby boom generation. That's... Um, families deciding to have a lot more children after the Second World War, okay? And in China in those few years, again, the fertility rate there has jumped to 6.14, an average of six children per woman there. Okay, let's drag things on a little bit, and let's pause at 1960, because now we get Algeria joining the fray. So Algeria, the average age of a first, um, first marriage is 19, and a fertility rate of 7.31. Okay, now let's keep our eye on these three countries as we move forward for the next 10 years or so. Okay, so there's 1970. Now China is starting to make a move over here. Um, fertility rates drop into 5.24. Algeria, not much of a change happening. The, the age women are getting married is increasing slightly. Let's keep going. Now those of you who know your history will be thinking what's happening in China at this stage. And this is the dramatic impact of the one-child policy. By 1980 in China, the average age of women is 23, which is kind of in trend with the rest of the world, how things are moving. But look at the fertility rate, how it's changed in those 10 years. It's now 2.59, which is quite incredible. Okay. Now, as we continue forward for the next kind of 10 years or so, keep your eye on Algeria, what's happening here. So at the moment, in 1981, average age of a woman getting married is 22 for the first marriage and 6.76. Watch what happens as we continue. Look at that. And if I just pause at around about 2000, in those 20 years, the average age has risen to 28 and the fertility rate has dropped to 2.62. Very dramatic results. And now if I just uh, go to the end of the data, which is 2004, and if I just deselect all, we can have a look at how the world looks there. Quite a strong negative correlation. And look at the differences across the world. If I just highlight the African countries there, we've got some countries, for example, Niger down here, with a fertility rate of 7.27 and an average age of the first marriage of 18. And contrast that with countries up here, for example... Uh, let's go for Sweden there, an average age of first marriage at 32 and a fertility rate of 1.78. So vast differences across the world. But if I just show how the world moves with all countries now, and if I just press play, there tends to be a general movement towards the top right of the graph as fertility rates start to decrease and the age of women getting married starts to increase. And that's quite a dramatic picture that the world paints there. Anyway, hope that was of some use, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.